everyone, Damien here for episode number 20 of Beginner's Java, which is going to be the final sort of review of objects and the final lesson in Beginner's Java. So after this, I expect you guys to move on to Intermediate if you are ready. If you are not ready or if you move to Intermediate and you find yourself lost, hit me with a message. Tell me what you're missing. Tell me what you don't get so I can make more videos to go here. Um, it's very important that you guys do that because, you know, I... I'm obviously the one making the lesson, so I don't really know if there's any kind of pitfalls and things that I haven't taught you. So, today we're going to be doing what's probably more simple than the first sort of uh, lesson we did with objects. We're going to be making a simple set of dice. So we're going to go to our default package, right click, go to new, class, we're going to simply name it dice. And in Dice, we're going to import two things. We're going to import java.util.random. Uh, there it is. And we're going to import java.math.star. And oh, I think that's supposed to be a lowercase math, isn't it? No. Yeah, OK. So, in this, we're going to create a default constructor, and it's going to be called public dice, and we're also going to create a, another constructor, which will be public dice, and it's going to take in an int called sides, and so obviously we're going to be making a variable, which we're not going to do the whole setter and getter thing. You guys already know that. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave everything public because I'm trying to do this quickly. So, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to do public int sides, and that's going to be our only uh, object variable. That's going to be the only thing that we use. So in this case, if somebody wants to create a dice object, they don't want to tell us how many sides they want, they're getting six. Getting a normal six-sided die. If they tell us how many sides they want, we're going to do this dot sides equals sides. And I actually made this so it would kind of look confusing. Uh, so it would be, I suppose, like a little more difficult uh, to kind of see at a glance. Uh, a bit more ambiguity. So what this means is that whatever we call this uh, constructor with is going to have a variable called side. So we're going to do something like this. We're going to say dice, dice1 equals new dice, and let's say we want a seven-sided dice. That's how it's going to come in. So sides is going to be set equal to 7 and this dot sides means that the sides variable that is contained inside of the object will now be set equal to whatever this is. In this case this would be 7 if it was called like that. So whenever we see the word this it means the variable or the function or the method or whatever that is contained within this specific object. So every now and again you'll you'll get a program where you have two things that are named the same exact thing and the way to differentiate it is using the keyword this. Now that being said we're going to make ourselves a quick little uh, method and inside that method we're going to simulate a role. So we're going to do public Role, uh, public int role. I guess we'll return the uh, value, and we don't need to really take in anything. Um, and so it's asking us to return something. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a value called int role, and we'll just set that equal to zero for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a random number generator. So we're going to type random generator equals new random. Uh, we did something very similar to this in an earlier lesson, if you'll recall. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to set roll equal to, um, we're going to do generator dot next int, and we're going to mod that by sides plus one. And if you remember, what this will do is this will give us a number between, so let's assume that we have seven sides, it will give us a number between negative seven and positive seven. So that's clearly not what we want. So we're going to do math.abs and it's going to give us a quick parenthesis there. And now this will be the absolute value of that. And now we're going to simply return roll and we're going to hop over into test.java and we're going to make two dice. So we're going to make dice, dice one equals new dice. And this one's just going to be our default constructor. This is going to be dice, dice two equals new dice. And we're going to make this one a, uh, a D10. So we have these two dice that we've made. And so what we can now do is we can call them and say dice one dot roll. Uh, actually, let's just output it system.out.println dice number one roll the value and then we'll simply do plus dice one dot roll now we're just going to copy paste this and change all the ones to twos and there we go so now we give this a quick run so we can see that it's a uh, six and two, or it's the run button, uh, control F11. So if I just run it a couple of times, why did it really? Okay, so we run it a couple more times, one and six, and you get you get the basic idea. I mean, it's uh, I don't know what's wrong with my control button. It's mildly alarming, but. You know, we can run it a few times and the value always changes. Uh, the value falls within what it's supposed to. So that's a very easy, uh, a very sort of easy explanation of what an object is, how this plays into it, you know, public uh, default constructors and, you know, specialized constructors. And it also shows us how we're working with methods inside of them. Um, that's kind of the general baseline of knowledge for going forward. Uh, if you guys have any questions on just that or how any of this worked, you guys are definitely going to want to review this, and I believe it was lesson number 17. Uh, this one is honestly probably going to be a little bit easier, um, and I did that on purpose. So before I say that you guys have graduated and that you've done a wonderful job, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to take what I've taken here with just the uh, the test.java, which you can rename to whatever you want, and dice.java. Uh, dice and I want you to take this, and I want you to make this into one of two games. Uh, and this is going to be kind of your final homework assignment you know, for this course. So the game that I want you to make with it is either A, you can make Yahtzee, or B, uh, and perhaps more interesting and, and difficult, is to make a game of craps. Um, for those of you who don't know how craps works, there's plenty of guides online for that. Um, but assuming you guys are able to make that, you guys are definitely done with beginner stuff, and it's time to move you up to intermediate. Uh, if you struggle with this or you can't quite get your hands on the game logic, feel free to post below and, you know, we'll work from there. Uh, down in the description, there's going to be explanations of both the games for you. Um, if you have any questions, post, and uh, good luck. Submit your homework. See ya.